I like how he's just like, whoa. 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 <laughs> Man, it's a little more disoriented. I've been standing here for three fucking weeks, <laughs> and suddenly you're back like it's not a big deal. Hi. It's been three weeks. For it, us. For us. I don't... Is, do we have a... It's we don't have any. Three, no, it's been a long time for them because we've been doing uh, Zelda, I think. Ah, right? Wait, yes. Wait, no, no, we haven't. We, we recorded this. So, no, it's just know, straight is, one this day. This is confusing for me. <laughs> it's been a while for us. Yeah. A lot of things have changed. Um... For example, Route 2 has become a Pokemon free highway, according to the sign they put up today. Oh yeah, Pokemon Go is a huge thing now. God, I actually um, was walking through the Boston Commons on Saturday, and approximately 75% of the people in the Commons were actively playing Pokemon Go as we walked by. <laughs> like, not an exaggeration, like three out of four people. Yeah. And the one in four that wasn't playing looked really confused and lost. I mean, it's kind of unavoidable wherever you go now. Yeah, and then, like, we finally, like, you know, we walked through the park, and it's like, wow, a lot of people playing Pokemon Go. And then, like, as about as we're about to exit, there was just a gr crowd of, like, a hundred people just, like, by a fountain on benches around it, all just on their phone playing. I still haven't seen that. Oh, man. I haven't seen that much of concentration of people yet. I honestly, I've seen, like, a few dozen people, but not, like, hundreds. Yeah, it was, like, a hundred people. And for me, honestly, it was kind of, like... A little eye-opening? Like, it's pretty crazy that it's, like, that much of a phenomenon. Yeah, it's weird, though, because Pokemon has been around for forever. I guess it's just that everyone has a phone and everyone can play it. Yeah, it's just something, like, it's, there's a lot of hype around it, too. Like, you know, it's the cool thing to be doing now. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, no, super, you know, great props to Nintendo. I think it's I think it's awesome that it's getting people out and about and, like, exploring. It's cool. Never mind, you know, the crazy... Uh, Crazy stuff is gonna happen no matter what. Yeah, putting a bunch of non outside people outside is, <laughs> you know, has gonna have its downside. But you know, it's just stupid people being stupid people. It's gets on the news because it's real Pokemon Go related, and that means, means people will read it. Yeah. So it's like a person found a body playing Pokemon Go. A person could have just found a body in that river like biking, and you would never have heard about it. Also, we should address that this episode is gonna come out like months after Pokemon Go came out. <laughs> yeah, well, it's already been, like, it's already, like, a month after Pokemon Go came Yeah, it's been out, a few so. weeks. It's been, so, like, three weeks so far. I don't us. think the hype's gonna be gone. I think people are still gonna be playing. I don't know how long it can sustain itself if they... I mean, they're obviously gonna add more Pokemon, but with just the 150, I don't know how long it's gonna last. Oh, well, you know how the level-up system works? Yeah, you kids just keep on catching the same Pokemon. Yeah, so you up. have to catch, like, fucking, like, 100 Charmander to get a Charmander like, or whatever. So it's like... Gonna, people are gonna get bored of that, right? No. I've, have you seen the App Store lately of any device? It's all games that are just, like, collection. With, like, very small... Or very slow collection games where it's, like, you have to collect 100 of this and it takes you, like... You get maybe, like, one or two a day. But I feel like... Like, Candy Crush is the other big app. And I feel like that is a sustainable because you can just sit on your couch and, like kill time with it but you actually have to like go out and do stuff for th with this one yeah yes and no i mean it's, it's definitely a different game than candy crush but it's got the same like thing where it's like uh um uh, uh, addictive you know it's just like you're doing this thing and you get you you're always making progress and it's just like small progress at a time i feel like people are gonna get lazy after a while though because I mean, once the initial hype goes away, they're not going to feel like going outside and finding Pokemon. Yeah, but who knows? Maybe maybe the relationships you find with other Pokemon Go players and the experience of going out and exploring, maybe those are those are the sustainable parts. Maybe you just are like, that was super cool, I don't want to stop doing that. Um, yeah, but then they can just start hanging out without the game. <laughs> yeah, which would also be good, but if you're... It wouldn't be good for Nintendo. If the game is... But if the game is your way of hanging... What the fuck is that what guy doing? What is that do? guy doing? Oh, he's got flares. He's a distraction? Is he like calling for reinforcements? How come I can't hit him? Oh, maybe he's like a boss dude. Maybe he has to kill all the henchmen going up to him. Uh. That wouldn't make any sense. You should be able to shoot him. <laughs> this is like fucking flaming faggot on top of here. I don't mean that. <laughs> that's just my brain. I immediately regret it. I, I, did, I didn't, yeah, I didn't really mean, like, I didn't mean to say that's a negative even. Like, it just. When you're doing this, you know, whatever words come to your head, and my brain just. When I said flaming, my head made an alliteration and connected that dot, which was not, not the best. Chris, just edit that out. Just pretend I never said it. I'll, I'll say something that I can fill it with. Say something not offensive. Okay. Just so like, here's a, just like here's a word. A, yeah, here's, word. A, here's a shower thought. Um, so, because we're talking about Pokemon, I, I was thinking about this the other day. 
You know, they have like this Hall of Fame, like you go through the game, you beat the Elite Four, you get in this Hall of Fame. All the rest of these people in this Hall of Fame are just what everyone has named their rivals. So like, they gotta have like this serious like, you know, ceremony and like Hall of Fame thing of like the best Pokemon trainer, which is like the most important thing in this whole world. And it's gonna be like, yeah, our Pokemon trainers, such heroic heroes such as Blue. Asshole, fuckface, shit tart. Because I don't know how you named your rival, but I always named him something like an expletive, and I still do. And I, everyone I know did. And I just imagine like this, like it's this like you know induction ceremony where it's like a big banner, it's just like ass tart. Ass tart. Oh no, I gotta catch the boat. Uh, jump. I made it. Nice. It was yeah. super easy to make. And I'm going through the wall. No. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, there's no sense you can fill with like, just, just speed up just speed up the first half of this episode and <laughs> I meant when I said say something not offensive, I meant just say like a word that I can replace flaming with. Oh. Um, yeah, how about um Flaming, uh, um, um, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, oh shit, I did that one out too. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, shotgun. Um, shotgun. Ferret. Get the shotgun. Um, fox. Fox? Forest. Um, Flaming fox. Yeah, he was, he was a, you know, he, was, he, he, needed, he needed attention. He was kind of like a middle child. That's, that's where we go. We'll call him a middle child. Ah, uh, okay. Cause I'm a middle child. I can make fun. I of actually forget children. what we were talking about and what that pertained to. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I don't think it. I don't remember anything. the context of, of that of when you said that. How many how many of these things have we done? Chris? How many episodes have we done? Of Uncharted or Pixel Playground? Pixel Playground, like 600. We should be fucking better at this. <laughs> <laughs> we should be goddamn better at hey, this. Hey, we've been on a break for like three weeks. And boy, does it show. <laughs> How many people are on this goddamn boat? A lot. Also, why does Super Soldier Man over there think it's okay to shoot his gun sideways like like he's just cool or something? Because it makes him cooler. Yeah, but like that and that guy too, like holding it in that weird like it's not a good way to hold a gun. Oh, is that guy shooting a rocket? Oh no, I gotta jump. And I think part of the you know story behind these people is that they're kind of like trained soldiers, right? Trained uh, mercenaries? They never said they're trained. <laughs> you don't know. Ooh. I mean, oh, like the combat gear and stuff, right? So you think, well, n never mind, he's got a life vest on. Safety first, man, good job. <laughs> I mean, when we shoot you in the head, you know, your life vest is not gonna do much. But at least, if we throw you into the ocean right now, you'll be fine. Yeah, I mean... Also, it's... why is he dead? You shot him in the leg! He should be fine. Or, not fine, but he should not be... <laughs> he should be completely unharmed. Not un no, unharmed is not what happens when you get shot. Just not dead. Not immediately dead. Poke out, poke out, poke out, poke out, poke out! I missed. <laughs> oh, wow. Your little, like, duck and run was exactly what you Whoa. needed. Whoa! <laughs> hey, you didn't shoot us. He's a strong uppercut. I think he used the ocean to help. Uh, the boat's on fire? What do I do? Uh... Uh, oh, just wait. <laughs> no. Hmm. Maybe just kill this. Jesus. Do I? Am I supposed to do something? Oh. I shoot them. That's what I do. Uh, oh, oh, I see. They're, they're killing me. Whoa. Wow, your explosives are way stronger <laughs> than their explosives. Yes, they are. This is a pretty cool scene. I'm out of, uh... I'm sure they give you more, right? Right? Did you waste all the rockets you needed? I might have. Ooh, oh no, you can go fire the yeah. fire move because you go. killed the other boat. It's not dead yet. Whoops. <laughs> that was a weird shot. <laughs> that was a worse shot. Uh, that one just straight up sucked. There we go. Did I die? Woo! Okay, I couldn't tell if that was my boat or their boat. Mm. Yes, Drake, it's on fire. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I totally didn't make that in the I actual I wonder how many of these rungs will fall off the side of the boat. All of them? Because he's Nathan Drake? 
It took them this long to make the cruising for a bruising. I definitely made that joke like well, this first time eight episodes a, ago. First time there's a cruise boat. What are you talking about? Why why did you make that joke when there was not a cruise ship? Well, because we're on boats. Boats any boat can cruise. I suppose, but their joke is more appropriate. Well they set it up. Oh, look at that it's physics. their game. Did you see that physics happening? Yeah, you see that physics where that bo that box just immediately like magnetizes itself to that fence? <laughs> That's what my cardboard box. Not cardboard. Uh milk crates. Milk do. crates. <laughs> Ow. I wonder when the last time milk has been put in a milk crate. It's probably happening right now. Somewhere in the world, someone's putting in a milk... Milk... One of those old milk glasses in a milk crate. Alright, I wonder when the last time milk bottles were, like, the primary use of milk crates. I don't know, what time of... Was that, like, a 60s thing? 50s? Yeah, where they deliver the milk. Why don't they do that anymore? My milk always goes fucking back, because I never use enough milk, and it always goes nasty in my fridge. I want a milk man. I like little milk. Like, little milks would be perfect. You should start a service. I don't think anybody wants it. You want it? It should be like GPS requests, like Uber milk. Like, some guy just drives around Uber with a truck milk. full of milk, and you just request milk when you need milk. Yeah, there's there has to be a market for that, right? No, there does not have to be a market. <laughs> there's not necessarily a market for that. But if there is... I, that's my patented you idea. Would, you would buy it's it. at the patent office, just in case. Jump up, Nathan. There we go. <laughs> Get real personal about it. <laughs> Nathan! Damn it, Nathan! Come on! <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice punch. Nice punch. I like how you gave him a little time to just, like, realize what was happening. Yeah. I, w I want it to be a fair fight. Yeah, that's pretty nice. There we go. Pick up his gun. Run around this boat. I think I'm back where I was. No, you're in an old place. New place? Yeah, it's a different, different place. It's a two sided thing. Man, cruise ships are big and confusing. Oh, uh, go up here. That's a really hidden path. I found it like almost uh, immediately. stealth! Cool. Cool. Next time, Pixel Playground. We will. Cruising for a prison. That, no, that's, the, that's what their We can't use their name. Cruising for, for a prison. 